mean, obviously, a uh, tough way for that one to end. Uh, at that point, I guess you just want to at least get the point, get it over them. Do you feel like you guys maybe deserved better with how you played? Yeah. Um, definitely deserved, uh, for sure, one, if not two points tonight. And uh, they got some bounces at the end, and um, we had our chances, myself included, and, and we didn't bear down and finish them. Hey, you had that really good chance in the last few minutes. When you're playing a team like the Marlies, obviously they've had a lot of success this year um, and a lot of skill out there. Is it just a case of maybe uh, easing off a little bit at the end or, or looking ahead uh, that, that that breakdown happened? Uh, no. I think it was just guys walking up the half hole and he throws to the net and, like I said before, they get a bounce. Um, you see that play, honestly. 10 times a period on both sides and doesn't go in all night. And then with 23 seconds left, whatever it is, it goes off a skater, stick, whatever it was. So that's how it goes sometimes. And uh, when you're in a rut like this, those bounces seem to go against you. So hopefully things turn around here and uh, rather quickly. Right. I mean, as you say, those were maybe bounces that were going your way earlier in the year. Uh, can that be a thing? Like momentum can work both ways that when things are going tough, it just seems like it snowballs on you and it's hard to get out of that funk. Yeah, 100%. Um, Earlier in the year, we couldn't do anything wrong. We had that 17-game streak where we had nights we didn't play our best and other teams outplayed us, and at the end of the night, you'd look up and it'd be 7-2 for the Moose. So um, it goes in waves. Um, you don't want to get too high. You don't want to get too low, and we got to come back and work tomorrow and, uh, you know, an afternoon game, so not a lot of time to recover here. So, you know, just try to build off our game. I thought we were solid for our for a full 60 minutes, and uh, I just didn't get the bounces at the end. Just on a personal level, uh, two games in a row now you've scored, and obviously you guys have some injuries with Cormier and Scarboza up the middle. Um, what's what's it been like personally to be able to, to get on the score sheet here the last couple games? Uh, it's been nice. Um, be a lot happier if it was you know with uh, two points for the team at the end of the night. But um, you know, it's I scored tonight and. I had two other great A chance in the third period that I didn't bury and you know, if one of those goes in it's a totally different game. So I'm more gonna think about those ones than the one that went in. So um, my goal is just great play by Sammy. Didn't get a lot on the shot. Uh, kinda got fortunate, but I'll take it. Uh, with Nick going down in the second and uh, the line sort of changing as the game moved on, one line that changed stayed the same was yours. What uh, made you guys so effective tonight? Uh, Buddy and, and uh, Brendan are really good four checkers. Um, you know, they, they have a lot of speed and, and they know how to use it. And they're physical. They're on the body. They're on pucks. And it um, doesn't matter who you're playing in this league. If you have a good four check, you're going to hem teams in. You're going to get your chances. And and uh, I try to just keep it simple with them. Um, we've had some, some good chances the last two, three games we've played together. And uh, hopefully we can go get a couple more tomorrow. Uh, looking at tomorrow's game, take a little bit of confidence from uh, playing such a tight, close game against the best team in the AHL right now? Uh, I mean, we can play with anyone. We've, we've shown that this year. Um, obviously, it doesn't matter at the end of the day if you lose 3-2 or 5 nothing. It's a loss is a loss. Um, you know, I, like I said before, I think we outplayed them, so we can take uh, a lot of pauses from this game, but it's uh, kind of bittersweet.